Hello, beautiful people. This is Sarah Allo TV, and I am here with another great law of attraction video about scripting. I am dedicated to making weekly videos to hold us all accountable to becoming the best versions of ourselves. My passion is personal development. I personally use the law of attraction and I love sharing all the secrets that have worked for me and all the treasures I have found along the way with all of you guys so that you can manifest the best versions of yourself and the lives you deserve. I just gotta say, look at all of that. <laughs> yeah. I've been scripting for a while. <laughs> and the thing is, is that I've learned some very cool new techniques that have times my manifestations by like almost 100. So I'm gonna teach you guys the three basics for how I've been using scripting to manifest things in my life. And then I'm gonna give you guys, because I love you all so much, the extra bonus tip that I learned at the beginning of 2020 that has completely changed my manifesting game. I mean, before, I feel like I was just like burning tires writing. Now, I'm able to harness this energy so much more and use it to really truly script and manifest the life that I want and I'm seeing it in my environment every single day. Bianca wants to say hi though, we can't go forward without saying hi to this cutie. She's also one of my manifestations that I use scripting and visioning for. A little angel puppy. Okay, so the three basics that you need are, of course, the writing, but I'll tell you how to do that. The writing, you need the feeling, and then you also need the reading. So I really wanted to do this video because a lot of people have been talking about scripting. You see it everywhere and I had actually been using scripting and doing it wrong for a really long time. Sorry, my OCD overcame me, I needed to straighten the camera. <laughs> but I had been doing scripting really for a very long time and I had been doing it completely wrong. I mean, you see all of these behind me, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. And the thing is, is I do architecture and interiors. So a lot of these notebooks have my designs in it as well. And one of the really beautiful things that I learned about the design field and the way that I create is that when we design and we visualize things, we're doing manifestation and law of attraction at the same time. So I became really, really skilled at this because it was my job to do this anyway when I was designing. So it's, I have some amazing lessons for you guys and then amazing lessons that I learned through doing this process for years and years and years. So with these three things, I'm also gonna give you an extra bonus trick that I only learned this year and has honestly sped up my manifestations by like times a hundred. There are things that I've been writing about for like five years that I've wanted to manifest and they've come in like two months. So I'll save that for right at the end because I want to make sure that you guys have the basic understanding for how to do the scripting correctly and how to bring so much abundance into your life through these techniques. So the writing. The important part about writing, you see how many books I have? A lot of people will write on scattered things. They don't have a dedicated book. My main idea and the idea that worked for me and what I want to share is that you have to have one book. That book has an energy, a sacred energy. Make sure you get a book that you really, really like. Make sure the color speaks to you. Go out and get a specific book that's gonna be your scripting book. Don't just get any piece of paper, any napkin, anything like that, because it doesn't hold the vibrational energy that you want to bring in those manifestations. Okay, so that's the main one with writing. The also thing when you're feeling, you have to write your scripts as if you can feel them happening. And the key is as if they have already happened. You're writing as if you've received everything that you want, right? Say it's a million dollars. I already, I'm so grateful to have a million dollars in my bank account. I never knew it was this easy. I'm so excited and I always knew this abundance was there for me. And now I get to count all the zeros and I just feel so great and sure because it's in my bank account and I have that knowing from the universe. So you want to tell yourself these things and you want to feel it at the same time, no matter what. If it's money, if it's people, if it's relationships. When I wanted to manifest a teacher, I, I was like, I was ready to have a teacher, a mentor and a master. And I told myself, I was like, I'm so happy to have clarity. 
because that's what a mentor would bring. You don't necessarily need to do mentor. But I was like, I, I'm so happy to have clarity. I'm so happy to have direction. I'm so happy to have guidance on what it is that I want to learn. And I'm so happy to be exploring all of these new ideas. So there are many ways that you could write these things as if they're happening and feel them. And you want to feel them in your gut, your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. These are where your inspiration, your creation, all of that energy is coming from. You don't want to feel it like in your throat because when you're feeling it in your throat, a lot of times it means that you're not necessarily fully believing it and you're struggling a little bit. But you want to feel it inside of you here. You want to feel the flow with these ideas are great and I feel good about it. And the key is, is as we know from Law of Attraction with Abraham Hicks as well, you want to say things that are believable to you somewhat, like work up in steps, you know? So start with something that's believable to you, that you believe you can achieve. Don't try and like hit the sky and the moon from the first go because you're not going to believe it and you're not going to have that feeling behind what you're writing. So you need to do incremental progress steps. That's what I say for everybody who's beginning. Do incremental progress steps to get to that point. Now, finally, you've got the right, you've got the read. Now, the final one is going to be, oh, sorry. You've got the right and you've got the feel. Now, the final one is going to be read, read, read. This is one that I didn't have down, which is super, super important. And I just kept writing. I, I mean, look, this is the only part of what I've done, but I just kept writing and writing and writing and writing, and I would rewrite, 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 similar scripting. And the trick is, is you have to reread it. A lot of people will read it again in the morning and read it at night. Some people just read it once a day. Some people will refresh once a week. You've got to find out what works for you. But the trick is, rereading is key to making sure that manifestation comes. And you know why? Because every time you write again and again, like I was doing, spinning my wheels, you're, you're starting again from fresh. You're not starting from the momentum that you've already built. So if you want to go back and you want to reread, and the only thing I would recommend is if you want to keep writing, is like I am statement. Then you can keep writing and keep writing so that it gets ingrained in your subconscious. But for me, I kept rewriting story after story after story of what I wanted to manifest and nothing was happening because I wasn't sticking and focusing on the specifics of what I was looking for. So when you reread what you're doing, and if you want to reread and write down what it is that you're reading next to you, that will focus even more energy and more attention to it. So I really, really hope this helped you for the three basic steps. I want you guys to all get out your notebooks, write down anything that you've learned, even actually put in the comments if you learned something new, because I know a lot of these tricks and tips aren't necessarily shared in full in other videos. And especially this next bonus tip, this completely changed, honestly, my whole scripting experience, was um, I had advice to start doing scripting during the new moon. Or tie it, you can. I've done it sometimes during the full moon, but the new moon is really the clean slate, the beginning for everyone. So what I did is I got a specific set of stationery for the scripting. So it was the same type of paper. And what you do is you do it by candlelight. It's, type of a, it's a part of a new ceremony, you know? So what you do is you get your piece of paper, you light your candle, and then you script as if everything's already happened what it is that you want, right? As if it's happened, write it down. Try and keep it to a minimum of around like seven-ish statements of what's already happened for your story. And then what you wanna do is fold up the piece of paper, use the wax from the candle to close it, and then put it somewhere safe and away till the next new moon. And when you get to the next new moon, reread it. And what you'll find is a lot of some of these things have actually already happened. And if they haven't, you get out your piece of paper again, you write down the ones that haven't as your first, and then you add to your list of what you want to manifest as if it's already happened. And you repeat. And you do this every single month and you'll start to notice these things rapidly coming into your experience. So let me know if you guys try it. I'm super, super excited. It's completely changed my scripting game and I'm loving learning all of these new techniques and I'm loving practicing them and then showing you guys all the new stuff that I'm doing.
too. So I hope that helped you guys out. Please enjoy the scripting process. It's meant to be something that's fun and exciting. I don't want you guys to get too stressed out about technicalities or did I feel that right? Enjoy the process and flow with the process and you guys will be great, I know it. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, show it some love, share this with your friends who could also do some help in scripting. And remember to subscribe because I have some really cool tips for the law of attraction and then other ways to do any personal development to help us all become the best versions of ourselves. Take care.